Hey folks, John Hazel here from the Ashland Fly Shop. We're going to talk about the differences between Scandi shooting heads and Skagit shooting heads, which 90% of us fish in the Northwest for steelhead. The Scandi head uh, on average is 30 to 37 feet long, and we fish them mostly for summer steelhead. And so what they're good at is surface, subsurface fishing. So in general, um, when the water's 50 to 60 degrees, so steelhead's a cold-blooded animal, and when the water's really cold, that fish doesn't want to move up to eat your fly. But when it's in that, you know, 50 to 60 plus degree range, we can fish just subsurface with light tips and small flies. So let's go through the application here. We covered the water temps. Ideally, 50 to 60 plus degrees. There's a little wiggle room there, but cold-blooded animal, He's going to move further to eat your fly in, in warmer water. So uh, in general, smaller flies. So if you look at the taper of the line, and this is not to spec, but the line is longer and it has a skinnier front end. So unlike the Skagit line, which is short and fat, it's not going to turn over heavy sink tips and bigger flies like the Skagit line, which we'll get to in a second. So smaller flies uh, with lighter tips, and we'll get into the tips in a second. They're also good for the touch and go style casts. So single spay, snake roll are ideal cast for this line. Now you can do snap T, you can do double spay, but those touch and go casts are super fun with scanty lines. And we mostly fish them for summer steelhead, mainly because of water temps. The winter steelhead tends to uh, be a little tougher to catch, water's colder, we gotta get down off-color water, we're fishing bigger flies. So in general, we're fishing from that July through September window into October for summer steelhead with our Scandi lines. And I mentioned light tips. So we're talking 12 to 15 foot mono leaders, uh, versa leaders or poly leaders. Uh, and so those are what I call the, the versa leader or poly leader, I call those baby sink tip. So it's just a, it's just mono that has a sink, sinking coating on the outside. So mono leaders, versa leader, poly leaders, those go right on the end of your Scandi line with your small fly. Okay. So Scandi think small hammer. Okay. So the small hammer is a Scandi line. They're super fun to cast. They're great for touch and go cast. When the water temps are right in that upper water temp range, smaller to, yeah, you can push a medium sized fly with them, but they're ideal for that. Skagit line. Skagit line's a bigger hammer. It's shorter and fatter. Think of it as like a garden hose. All right. So you've got all that mass condensed down into that shorter head and that head is 20 to 27 feet long. So we can fish Skagit lines year round, but we really have to fish them in general when the water's colder, 40 to 50 plus degrees. They are best, well, they're really the only line we can fish with really big flies. And it's mainly because of the mass. If you're washing your truck and your garden hose gets stuck behind the tire, you can kind of whip the hose and it'll, because of the mass of the garden hose, it'll clear itself without walking over and pulling it out from underneath your tire. So think of the schedule lines kind of like the garden hose. Big flies we mentioned, the big intruders, leeches, that kind of thing. And they are best with sustained anchor casts like the double spay and snap T. Sure, you can single spay them, you can snake roll them, it's just not as easy or pretty. You can fish Skagit lines year round for summer or winter fish, but I would say I'm fishing Skagit lines from October to April. Nothing else. October to April, where we fish down in Southern Oregon. And then as far as tips, you can put any tip but you really want to look at Mo Tips, which is the family of sink tips uh, that has all the T material, T, I wrote T anything, T8, T11, so on and so forth. So your Mo Tips, any of the 15 foot sink tips, really you name it. Any sink tip you can put on the end of a Skagit line, it'll turn it over. So just think bigger hammer, smaller hammer, colder water, warmer water. Big flies, little flies, sustained anchor cast, touch and go, Skagit, Scandi. 
All right, that's it, folks. If you have any questions, be sure to holler at us at the Ashland Fly Shop. Thanks for tuning in.